Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Glumack. If you're new here, I like to talk about how I have my ileostomy and if you are, you know, one per one of us who has either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's and is, or maybe you have cancer and you're looking to get your large intestine removed and then eventually you'll have an ileostomy like me. Hopefully you find this helpful or maybe you just want to know more about life with an ostomy. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, so I like to dive into the nitty-gritty details. So we are four weeks post-surgery, and so far everything's been going really well. Today is my first day totally off of pain meds, so no, no Tylenol, no ibuprofen, and I feel great. So uh, I have been giving myself a lot more rest. I know the first few weeks I kind of would try to overdo it. Like once I felt like a smidge better, I was like, oh, yeah, let's go and do these projects, and it's like... Okay, now I just, I learned, I gotta pump the brakes because I really pay for it the next day pain-wise or even, you know, fatigue-wise. So I have noticed over the last week that I have been a lot more tired, but I don't know if that's just because I've been giving myself the rest I need. So, you know, everything's kind of slowing down. But regardless, I do notice a little bit of improvement with my walking distance. I'm able to go a little bit further, which is great. Um, I'm still kind of like, babying my pace a little bit because I don't want to wear myself out too much. That's the one thing I am concerned about going back to work in about a week and a half is will I be able to last the whole day energy wise. But we'll see. I mean whatever. It just is what it is. Oh I was <laughs> I was like getting ready and this is what I was thinking. I'm like I gotta tell you guys an update about four weeks after surgery but I was gonna you know get ready while I was talking because I don't have my eye makeup on yet. But I think I might just talk to you without eye makeup on. <laughs> okay, so let's just continue on. Um, I wanted to tell you a few of my favorite products too. So I did reach out to Coloplast. Uh, I was using the Hollister bags, which I like them a lot. Something that I do notice is by the, I, I usually, you know, wear them for about three days. And the reason that I change them on the third day is because I, I feel like I can kind of smell it. And so I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like a chemically smell, but also kind of like a poop smell, if, let's be real. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I, I feel like I want to try a couple other brands and see if this is really, you know, my favorite. One thing that I do love about Hollister is I never had a leak, so that was really great. Um, and so, whatever, I reached out to Coloplast and requested some samples off of their website. And you could uh, load in your cart, you could request eight different samples. So I did four different bags and four different flange things. And um, I think it was probably a couple weeks later that someone actually called me from Coloplast. She was super nice and she was like, hey, I saw that you requested these kind of samples, you know, what kind of concerns are you having or, you know, any problems or whatever. And I really wasn't having any problems at the time. I was just kind of interested in maybe trying like a one piece system just to see what it's like or just different ones. Cause I've heard really good things about the different uh, Coloplast bags. One of them is the Sensor Amio. And so I really wanted to try that just to see what it was like. So this week now, I've been able to try two of the different bags, and I plan to change mine now tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I, I wanted to share this with you because I'm really excited, and I feel like I love this bag so much that I'm going to switch over. So, first of all, let me show you all the samples she sent. Like, two whole bags full, and I think there were, I think I counted there was like 16 bags. So, she did like two or three varieties of, of each of the different kinds. And so this is my favorite one. This is the Sensor Amio. And I'll tell you a few of the features that I really, really like. Um, just like the Hollister bag, it has a filter. You can kind of see it there. It's actually like on the underside here. This is one of the features that I love about the Sensor Amio is that it has this little window. So you can actually check on your stoma and make sure that it looks good and everything's doing okay in there. And then um, I wasn't sure if I would like this as much, but now I do. So when you drain it, you know how like when you close it up, <laughs> you kind of roll this up. Let me go a little bit closer here. So you roll it up until you have the Velcro and then these little wings Velcro there. So that's how it closes. And I was like, how is that little, how are those wings gonna hold it, you know? But it does, it does a really good job. And then you can either tuck it up into here. It has this little Velcro thing. Do you see that there? So it's got a little Velcro. You can either put it right there and kind of tuck it up into itself so that, you know, you don't get like the, 
other side of the velcro like scratching your legs or anything i do find that this still sometimes like the corner will catch my leg and i'm like Ugh. so if i don't want that to happen you can actually pin it all the way up here too so it's even more discreet which i love for intimate times or um, when i'm wearing a bathing suit or anything like that so it goes really small and i really really like that it's so discreet and another thing that i really love about this is the material so the hollister bags and this other one that they sent me Let's see, this one is the Coloplast, I don't know, 13845, I don't know. <laughs> um, do you see how this is more of like a material or like a fabric-y kind of material? And then the Sensor and Mio is more, I feel like it's kind of like a rain jacket material. Does that make sense? So it's more slippery and I feel like that has all the difference of, you know, this kind of material holds more of a scent. So that's why i feel like i could smell by day three a little bit of a poop smell <laughs> uh with this kind of fabric but this is a winner in my book i love this one so much so the first or the beginning of the week i tried the um what do you call these ones one piece i was like single is what i wanted to say so i tried the one piece um at the beginning of the week and i really like it so basically it comes like this and you have on the very back you can measure your stoma and then you can cut out I already know that mine is one and one eighth, so I just followed the dotted line there and cut around or cut this out. And then you just stick it right onto your skin and it's, it's great. It's such an easy way to like, you know, put it on really fast. <laughs> and then I did want to show you the two piece just as a comparison. Um, and so she sent me a couple different kind of two pieces. One of them is the two piece click, which where did I put that? Probably is in the other bag. So anyway, the one that I'm wearing right now is this one here. So you can cut out um, on the flange wherever you measure and then this if you peel this back I don't want to like totally get the stickiness off but that sticky part underneath there that's what will stick to this other side then they stick like this and that is your two piece so something that I did notice is when I did the one piece I didn't put a barrier ring on there and I've always worn a barrier ring with the Hollister bag and that a barrier ring just helps so that if you put it right on the inside of where you cut your hole. Um, do I have one handy? <laughs> I feel like I should, I, oh, in my ostomy bag change, you see it. It's like that moldable ring. It comes as a ring shape and then you can like stretch it out if you want it to fit onto your bag. And that just helps so that stool doesn't leak onto your skin. So I didn't wear one with my one piece when I tried it on the other day. And I did notice that I had some irritation right around my stoma. So I think some of it leaked onto there. So I did put a barrier ring on um, when I did this two-piece one and then I feel like that I mean I'll find out when I change it today or tonight or tomorrow um, if that helped I think it will okay so then a couple of my other favorites with um, my ostomy supplies has been the Sensicare sting-free adhesive removers I really like these I haven't tried the spray I see that some people use that these just come as like an individual packet so they're super easy to just toss into your your travel bag or whatever or even at home. <laughs> I do find that they dry out really, really fast, so you kind of have to go through a lot of them, um, but I do really like those. Uh, they don't have alcohol in them, so that they don't, or actually, you know what? Don't quote me on, oh yeah, yeah, here it is. I was like, I thought I read that. Alcohol-free, so then there's no sting if you have any sensitive areas. So, another thing too, one of my biggest tips is when you're doing your ostomy emptying. Oh, I wanted to show you that too, <laughs> sorry. All these ideas. Okay, so when you're emptying your ostomy bag, I do, like to take like an old water bottle and I just keep this in my bathroom like in the drawer where all my ostomy supplies are and when you empty this so if you are new to ostomies you actually empty this by unrolling it okay when it's on you it's a little more sturdy <laughs> there we go okay so you empty it by unrolling it and the cool thing about the sensoria mio kind of bag is that see this flap how it's got on the back side has these little velcros when you velcro that then it holds that little extra flap out of the way because here's the emptying part and you don't want it to get like all over that. So when you're unrolling it from itself, kind of keep it up while you Velcro those back and then you can empty it and it'll, it'll basically like empty itself really good. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. Then what I like to do is pour some water in here and then kind of like squish it around in the bag and then empty it that way too. Um, and then you can just clean off the very the lip of it and then roll it back up, secure it, and you're good to go. I love these ones so much. 
All right, that's all my tips that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more uh, updates about my journey so far. And uh, we'll do another style video too coming up with all the spring looks. I'm just waiting for one more shipment from a little boutique that I shopped from. All right, bye.